all right hi welcome to my channel I just wanted to do a quick little um, review on how good this rainbow shampoo is working I did hire somebody to steam clean these carpets here in this 20 year old motor home um, and this motor home was uh, well kept and but I still hired somebody to clean the carpets before I officially you know uh, start using it so this is the machine I have I can't remember the model but by the time I post this on YouTube I will have the model number to this rainbow um, <clears throat> I do know that they came out with a newer one that has like blue LED lights or something and I think this is the one before that version. <clears throat> so anyways, I hired a, st a carpet guy to steam clean all the carpets. Everything, everything. This is the living room right here. And we moved the sofa. And see, this is where uh, the slide out goes in and out. So that's why there's like a carpet piece. And then the bedroom. So. Anyways, <clears throat> so I decided to steam clean the carpets again with our own shampooer because, not because I doubted the steam cleaner guy, but I was like, you know, maybe he was stepping on the carpet with his dirty shoes after he cleaned. And since I'm one of those people that I don't want to set my bare feet on the carpet where people use their shoes. I'm that person that we wear um, shoe covers in the house or we don't wear shoes. It's one or the other. We wear shoe covers or we just don't wear shoes, but we wear slippers that are only used for the house. So anyways, <clears throat> um, so far I've only steamed back the slide out area, all this, because like I said, this is, <clears throat> you know. Um, section for this laid out I've only so far done this part so anyways I noticed that the water is dirty and I will show you and I will take it out but I just want to Oops. sorry I don't know if you can see but it's pretty dirty in there but don't worry I will take um, the canister out to show you and then I also realized that this shampooer picked up a lot of like loose fibers and I don't know if this is a good or a bad thing but for me I think this is a good thing because fibers do loosen up and I'm assuming that this machine sucks really good do you see there's like even dirt with these fibers and a bunch of it was coming out <clears throat> But it wasn't clogging the machine. It, they were just falling out from underneath the, the head. But it wasn't like clogging it. So I don't think it's sucking these up. I don't think. But do you see all that dirt? Like embedded with all the fibers. And then I think there's a hair. I don't even know if that's mine. Because we haven't really used the motorhome yet. We've been just trying to clean it. And <clears throat> So anyways, <clears throat> I did do one pass and I'm probably going to do more passes. I'm going to leave those there. I'm just going to vacuum those up with a, a hose nozzle from a regular vacuum. Um, or I could just, yeah, I guess I could use this one, huh? Anyways, <clears throat> it's because I bought but and I was gonna use it. But now that I'm thinking about it, I could watch detach this. I can clean it out. I mean, I'm not trying to show a demo of how to use the machine, but um, yeah, I guess I could. Huh? I'll do it real quick. <clears throat> Oh, I saw so. 
opened up all the loose fibers that this shampooer picked up. So anyways, I'm not trying to diss on the shampooer guy that came, but I'm just trying to applaud this shampooer of how I think it cleans probably better. So here, I'm sure the guy did a good job. Um, let me see. How... <clears throat> I'll show you the water. And this is just one pass on the slide. Oh, oh that right there. And I'll show you what the water looks like. Do you see that? <laughs> And the thing is, is, this water, when it was clean, it was in there. And then, <clears throat> obviously, the water got sucked up, you know, cleaning the carpet. And look how dirty that is. So, I'm just amazed how much dirt this picked up. Um, just thought I'd share this. I mean, I'm not trying to say go buy one because they're not cheap I'm sure there's different alternatives but if you're one of those people that are thinking about getting the Aquamate <clears throat> shampooer I would say I do recommend it we did use this inside our house a few times in each bedroom and there's three bedrooms um I think it worked fine and then this is my first time using it. Typically, I would not use this vacuum anywhere else other than the actual house because this vacuum is strictly for our house. <clears throat> like this vacuum I bought, I'm not going to use this anywhere except for the motorhome because I'm just picky like that. So technically, I wasn't even going to use this here, but I figured I could just wipe things down, like the wheels, and wipe everything down. That way, it goes back into my clean house without any, you know. So anyways, so I did this like at the last minute. It's really late right now. I did a one pass, and I'm thinking on doing more passes until the water comes out clean and then i'll work on the other section of the other carpet and then i'll work on the bedroom <clears throat> so yeah i do recommend this if you are debating on getting the shampooer attachment for your rainbow back um and this rainbow back i do not buy it new I bought it used on eBay for $600 and then the attachment was I think I don't remember 300 or 400 for the shampooer and I figured it was going to be worth it because I was like oh we don't have to hire a steam back a steam cleaner guy for our house you know if we bought it and it, I was <clears throat> and I started looking into this head uh, carpet cleaner as like an investment <clears throat> That it eventually it would pay for itself if we used it enough but like i said um i decided to use it in here because i was thinking well maybe the shampoo guy was walking all over the wet carpet with his dirty shoes i don't know but and so that's the only reason i'm kind of glad i did decide to use this here for the motor home that we purchased it is a 20 year old motor home so um, you would expect, you know, the carpet to be this gross. Um, the carpet is, um, you know, it's a dust collector, dirt collector. It embeds itself. Um, I wouldn't doubt if there's uh, dirt particles like sand underneath all this carpet for that many years old, 20. <clears throat> One time <clears throat> we ripped out carpet at my mom's house and literally just like sand that you could just feel and thick too it was nasty so i could imagine that maybe it's like this under here 
especially a motor home where it's taken out where it, you know like trails and you know campgrounds where it's obviously dirt but it was it wasn't obvious this carpet was not dirty when we first got it actually it was pretty well kept so can you imagine a carpet that wasn't well kept and that the stains were um more visible so anyways i would recommend this machine and that was just with one pass and i'm gonna do another pass um <clears throat> All right, well, I'm gonna keep doing my passes, but I do recommend this machine, or the header, I mean, if you're debating on and spending, three, I don't remember if it was three or 400, but all right, thanks.